so welcome you all in the previous topics we were discussing about the introduction to the plcm that's what we have discussed about the project life cycle management and we have discussed about the pdms that is product uh, data systems so next we are going to discuss about the product design see previously we discussed about only the introduction regarding the plcm how it will be going to be helpful and which are the sectors majorly this uh, plcm has been adopted in order to develop the quality products to satisfy the customers so now we are going to discuss in depthly about the product design yes before going to that what do you mean by a product design see this is an initial stage uh, of any product we want to design based on the requirement or based on the consideration of uh, customers or might be from the organization so first stage is about a initial uh, initial stage is nothing but about a design so what i mean by a design so design is an art of developing a new product or already existing product we are going to modify or remodify to the uh, current requirement so that is what we called about the product design so what are the parameters we need to consider for any design what are the specifications what are the materials so all the things that we going to completely we going to discuss in the next topics so next one is about an introduction to product design so what is that uh, what do you mean by a product design so just we are going to look about the introduction to the product design so every product is that manufactured is supposed to have a distinguished physical characteristics which is which makes it attractive and provides usefulness and value to the customers so this character is known as the design and the process employed in this regard is known as product design yes so which will be having some physical characteristics that which provide some usefulness or to the value to the customers or where we are going to use so based on that we this process is known as what we call it as a design, product design so next we are going to discuss about the what are the objectives or requirements of a good product design see whenever you are launching or whenever you are developing any new product or whenever you are going to design any product first thing is to about the we need to uh, keep in a mind regarding the customers so the here the customers we need to concentrate or we need to reach to the expectations of the customer in order to satisfy their requirement if the customers are satisfied with the products what we are giving or what the products we are getting from the any organization so automatically the customers attraction or the interest goes towards the product will be more so even the there is a chances of increasing the customers also so that is also one of the major uh, advantages of uh, attracting the customers so first thing is about the satisfy the customer needs and expectations and maximize the uh, maximize the value for the customer at, at a minimum cost yes so whenever you are looking a product first we going to see about the uh, uh, cost so within the expectation cost they need to satisfy the product for example if you take for, for a customer is looking within a minimum price but he is having an expectation that it the product has to perform a, a lot but he is, he is not a, a ready to spend more so he is looking at a minimum cost so that is the mentality of the customers so in, a, in order to when you are designing any product the product must be the cost should be efficient but even the features should be more so in that in such a way that we need to uh, design and we need to maximize the value for the customer so then only automatically the customer starts attracting towards that particular product next one is about the product must be designed to be functional attractive have acceptable dimensions and easy to maintain yes which are the product what we are going to design it must be designed in a functional and it should be an attractive and it should have an acceptable dimensions and it should be in a easy to maintain also not only with the cost even it should have an a functional and it should be an attractive and it should also easy to ma- maintain also so next one is about a product design should enable cost effective product uh, production of products through well available production methods and materials see what are whenever we are doing the first thing is as i mentioned in earlier that is cost effective production of product through available production methods and with the available materials next is should satisfy the quality standards of the product see whenever we are designing the product it should reach the standards the standards is set by regulatory government that is from the government bodies so for each and every product there will be some certain standards and even some uh, certain uh, methods and certain standards so we need to ensure that all the products which has been uh, manufactured that has to be follow that particular standard that is quality standards from issued from the government so next is must enhance the revenues and competitiveness of the organization in the market so my main thing is we should able to enhance the revenues and competitiveness of the organization in the market 
next is should satisfy the guidelines set by the government and other regulatory bodies so which are the product you are going to design or uh, manufacture so it should has to be follow the uh, guidelines for set from the government of uh, government and other regulatory bodies so next one is about the what are the benefits of a good product design yes when you are designing the product is good what might be the major benefits to attract the customer that is that uh, we need to prove that the product is good how we can able to prove first one is attracts more customers thereby giving an organization a credit well above the competitors yes see if the product is good automatically the customers will be able to satisfy if the customer satisfies automatically the rate of customers uh, will be increased so automatically the more revenues will be generated in for the organization and it will be well above the competitors so next one is becomes important in replacing absolute designs as yes, it is also one of the major thing that is it will be replacing with the absolute designs assures reliability when proven performance of product over the period of its lifespan next makes customers comfortable and easy to use yes that is one of the major thing is about the it makes the customers more comfortable and the product should be will be very easy to use the or use or understand about the product so that makes the customers are more comfortable so next one is assured quality of product with guaranteed customer satisfaction is yes. so this is what the every organization or every industry is looking for the satisfaction of the customers so when the customers will be going to be satisfied when the when the customers is satisfied is whenever the get an a guarantee guarantee about the product where where they can able to feel that they have satisfied with the customer uh, they are satisfied with the product that gives the customer satisfaction next leads to standardization of process product and leading to interchangeability with a better service how, how we can able to give the better service for, of the particular products and next one is avoids pro uh, product redesign thereby reducing the time cost and labor involved in the redesign process so whenever you are going to redesign that particular pro product already which is launched into the market so whenever you are going to redesign means it reduces the time so that avoids the uh, redesign by reducing the time cost and labor involved in the particular uh, redesign process so these are the some of the major benefits of using the uh, by getting the uh, from the good product product design is based on this particular designs uh, we can able to satisfy the customers or we can able to give an a, a more uh, because the satisfied the customers are satisfied automatically the uh, revenues are will be more generated so you can that revenues will be used to uh, design or more, launch the more number of products into the market